Today we're aboard the Sandpan 2500 ULH. It's powered by a Yamaha VMAX Show 225. Now, that's probably the smallest engine you're going to see on this boat, but it, you know, it's all about the hookup, and this thing really got out of the hole brilliantly. Got on the plane in 2.6 seconds, 30 miles an hour in 6.2 seconds, and the top speed was 44.1 miles an hour. Now, if you like this video, subscribe to us on uh, Boating World's YouTube channel. Keep abreast of all the latest tests that we do. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features of this boat. Bob, sorry to bother you, but uh, what's the deal here? Well, Alan, I'm, I'm not going to not take advantage of the most plush deluxe boat that Godfrey's ever built. This is the Sandpan 2500 ULH, and this is one of my favorite setups that we build. This lounge is just amazing. You can see how much room is in the back of this pit seat. New armrest this year fold down. Do you want to come in? No, 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 Alan. We've thought of that. Let me help you with that. This is the best thing about this. Welcome aboard, sir. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That's real cool. Just lift up, drops back in place. But the great thing about that, Alan, is it'll stay open as we're doing a day of swimming. Right. We don't always have that gate that's banging around. It's got an open position and a lock position. But this is amazing. This sand pan is in our new color this year. This is called Cognac. And it is so plush and so luxurious. I just love it. It ties in beautifully to the floor, ties in beautifully to the lacquered look tables. It's a beautiful furniture package, on, and I like the way it complements it with the black rails on this particular boat, picks up the carbon black stripe throughout the furniture. Well, talking about access in the stern, looks like you figured out another way for other guests. Well, the H in this particular model designates that this is a handicap setup. So we, we shorten this lounge up, we put oversized side gates on it. This particular boat was built for a handicapped customer. Mm -hmm. And we've got room right here for the wheelchair for this situation. Right. If this weren't ordered this way, this lounge would be extended out. Or we can put a mate's chair here, just like the helm chair, which is very popular as well. But we're starting to see that there's a need for a lot of customers. A lot of our customers, as they're starting to get older, want to make sure that they have the ability down the road. The average pontoon customer keeps the boat eight, nine years. Mm -hmm. A lot of our customers are saying, well, in eight or nine years, I may need a wheelchair. Right. And they want to buy a boat that they're comfortable can take a wheelchair at some point in time. And we deliver that at Godfrey. You know, something occurred to me too, I'm sure it wasn't the intended use, but you could put an inflatable mattress here too if you wanted to Look you at the could. stars? You could, or you could put a, a playpen yep. for, a, for some uh, infants. You, you could do a lot of different things with this space. Space is always a good thing on a pontoon boat. And the nice thing at Godfrey is we're able to move this furniture around and give customers the space. Our 2018 information will list the handicap I wheelchair icon on boats that we're able to do that with. Mm -hmm. So it's from an entry level boat all the way to a very deluxe sandpan. We'll have models that we are willing to do that will accommodate a wheelchair. Bob, I've only got one word. Ooh. <laughs> I think that about sums it up. This is the Garmin C series. This gives us twin flat screen panels. These can be set up for a uh, map. It can be set up for navigation. It can be set up for full engine maintenance. Right now we've got it set up as a menu on this side and full switch panel on this side. So I can honk the horn from here. I can do a lot of different functions from here. I also can override that manually with the switches. Mm -hmm. And one of the great things that the engineers at Sandpan have done is we've got two specific buttons, one for night cruise and one for day cruise. Mm -hmm. So instead of coming on your boat and flipping all the nights on, we can hit night cruise and everything goes on. Cool. Now we can go up here and override the lights that we don't want on if should we not want a specific light on. Right. One button touch button turns all the night lights on, the mm -hmm. red, green, blue underneath, all the speakers underneath the furniture lighting can all be controlled from one button, and it's all on a dimmer switch right here. Cool. Well, this is pretty throne-like here. I like it. <laughs> you look pretty relaxed there, Helen. Uh, this furniture package is amazing. The level of foam in it, the level of the vinyl, the level of detail that we've put into this particular package is real craftsmanship, and we think it shows, plus features. This year, we've got armrests that tuck away. 
We've got chase lounges that open with built-in trash containers for those long days on the water. And everything is underlit. All the speakers are backlit. Again, your choice of red, green, or blue. And the sound system is amazing. I'm sorry we didn't turn it on yet, but this is a Polk system driven by a monoblock amplifier. I believe there's 13 speakers and a 10 inch sub in this particular boat. It's really gonna put that sound out for a day when you wanna to go to the sandbar. For more information on the Sandpan 2500 ULH and other great boats, go to boatingworld.com. Also check us out on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook I'm Alan Jones and thanks for being part of our boating world.